We have been called to reach this generation with the love and gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, Bishop Peter is obeying this higher call by preaching and teaching the word of God, both in Kenya and in many other nations of the world, supporting the weak and encouraging the broken-hearted. He and his wife Faith founded Overcoming Faith Church, which is involved in evangelism, church planting, leadership training, family enrichment programs and equipping the saints to serve. In their passion and love for the weak and neglected, they have established Happy Life Children's Home for Abandoned Babies, Happy Life Christian School and recently Jesse K. Children's Hospital. Thanks to the many friends and partners who have come along to make this happen. Glory and praise to our God. As we usher in 2018, the Lord has given me a word for this year. And I was seeking and waiting on God and he said unto me, 2018, you shall recover all. 2018, you shall recover all. This is the year you have been waiting for. Everything you have lost. Everything you have been waiting for. Everything you have been looking for. 2018, you shall recover all. I declare, 2018, you shall recover all. 2018, you shall recover all. And I declare this year, your business will succeed. Everything you have lost in the business, this is the year to recover all in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. 2018. Somebody shout, I will recover all in the name of Jesus. In the book of 1 Samuel 30 and verse 1 to 25, we see David. We don't have time to read. We'll be teaching about this in the year, the whole of January and probably February. We want to talk about this word of recovery until everybody gets it. Until everybody recovers everything that belongs to you. For God says in his word, it shall come to pass in the last two days. The years that have been wasted. The years that have been stolen by the enemy. They will be restored. I'm saying they will be restored in the book of Joel chapter 2. So get ready for a time of restoration. And the Bible says that. This time David had gone to war together with the men. And when they came back to Zikrat, they found that their wives, their children had been taken away as slaves by the Amalekites. They were taken away. And they began to cry. Not only their wives and their children were taken away. But also their houses were burnt down. So can you imagine in that kind of a situation? In one day, they, had, they were gone for three days. In those three days, the enemy came. And what did he do? He stole your wife. He stole your child. And he burnt your property, your house. And number four, they took away their property. Four things that were taken from them. And the Lord told me, these are the four things I'm going to restore this year. The wives were taken, meaning the family was broken. It was destroyed. This year, it is time to recover the family for God. Oh, I don't hear a big amen. 
I declare this year, your family, anything that has been broken in your family, it shall be restored in 2018. 2018, somebody shout, I shall recover all. God says, like David, you know, when, when, when this happened, David was so distraught, he was discouraged, and they began to cry, and they wept, until the Bible says, they could not cry anymore. They had no more strength to cry. Have you ever been in that kind of a situation where you cry and cry until you cannot cry anymore? And after they cried, the men that were with David took stones because they were looking for somebody to blame. This is not the year to look for people to blame. This is the year to allow God to fight for you. They took stones and they said to David, we are also going to kill you. You are our leader, we are going to kill you. You know how many times leaders we are blamed for even things we have not done. David is crying and the other men are also crying. Do you know as leaders, as a pastor, as a bishop, I am also human. I need God as much as you need God. Hello? Let me tell you, when I'm declaring these things to happen in your life, I am also declaring them to happen in my life. When I'm saying you have financial breakthrough, who doesn't need financial breakthrough? You think I'm an angel? You think I live in Central Bank? That in the morning I go there, pick what I want and go come out here. I also need it. I have financial needs. Hello? When I'm trusting God and saying we will fight this here, I'm also in the forefront. But many times people look at the leader, look at the pastor, look at the bishop and think, well, oh, they are on the other side, we are on this other side. No. I also need a miracle as much as you need a miracle. I have a family. I have a wife. David had a wife like the other men. David had children like the other men. I have children. They are grown up. They are in high school. They are in college. Hello? I need God for my children. Praise the Lord. I'm trusting God to fuel my car the whole year. You'll never find me on Vika Road. Nakibuya Mafuta. I'm also trusting God that my car will never be stuck this year. And all of you that are driving, your car will never be stuck this year. In the name of Jesus. Do you know you can trust God? From when God gave me my first car in the year 1997, I've never left my car home because I didn't have fuel. Even when I was earning very little. Why? Because I trusted God. You gave me a car, you can give me petrol. Are you listening to me? Wewe ambao unatambia ya kuacha gari nyumbani kwa sababu mafuta imekwisha, hiyo tabia 2018, it is time to recover all. You will drive where you want to go. And the Lord will provide. Somebody say, I will recover all. Sarah came to, to God and said, Give me a child and not only a child. Give me a baby boy. And when you do this, I will bring him in the house of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, be specific. This year you will recover all. Hello. Hallelujah. So number one, the family this year will be healed. The reason why the devil has been fighting your family in 2017 because he knew 2018 was coming. And the devil is a liar. 2018 is here and your family will stand. Your family will be saved. And if there be anybody in your family who is not born again. This is the year. This is the year. This is the year. This is the year. This is the year to recover all. 
Your brother shall be saved. Your sister shall be saved. We have testimony here. Your parents will be saved. Your children will be saved. Even your neighbors will be saved. Your uncle, your auntie, everybody, your grandmother, the witch doctor in the family, this year they will throw away their witchcraft and they will come to Jesus. This is the year to recover all. David cried until he could not cry anymore. And the Bible says he decided now I'm not going to cry. Do you know crying can only take you so far? There is a place crying cannot take you. What did he do? The Bible says he stood up. Now this year you have to stand. I'm saying this year you have to stand as a gentleman. And when he had nobody to encourage him, the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. So this year, let me tell you, some of you have been forsaken you have been rejected and you have been wondering where do I go? People have left me, my friends, my family, but encourage yourself in the Lord. Come on, tell your neighbor you are not alone. But let me tell you, I prophesy even those who have left you, this year they are coming back. I'm saying this year they are coming back. It is a year to recover even the relationships that have been broken. I'm saying this is a year to come back. Number two, the Bible says the children were taken away. You know, it is the year to recover the next generation. The devil has stolen the next generation. The devil has stolen our children, our youth, the teenagers. But this year, it is the year to recover all. Somebody say, I will recover all. 2018 come on come on I want to hear somebody shout I will recover all 2018 I will recover all when I say 2018 you say I will recover all 2018 one more time 2018 so this year we have a young people, we have a youth, we have a generation. Some of them are musicians. We are going for them. Some of them are in the clubs. Pastor Cyrus, we are going for them. We are calling them. They belong to the house of the Lord. I'm, I'm praying you will have an anointing. Some of them, you will see them singing on TV. And they are glorifying some women and they are singing behind them, they are naked women, and they have wonderful voices. And you wonder, what are they doing in the clubs? They need to be worshipping God. Some of them, when you see them, don't sit there like you have, you're helpless, like, like you, there's nothing you can do. Point at that TV and say, we call you in the house of the Lord. If you know their name, call them. We call you in the house of the Lord. And don't be surprised to hear this year they are coming to the kingdom of God. The generation that have been lost, we are calling them from the discos. We are calling them from the drugs. We are calling them from the music world. We are calling them to the house of the Lord. 2018, we are going to recover all. Who? Glory to God. David asked the Lord. I believe as eight, he asked the Lord, shall I pursue them? And the Lord answered and said, shall I pursue this trip? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail. Ah. Oh. This is the Lord saying unto you tonight, He's saying, pursue. Ha. For you shall surely overtake them. And what will happen? And without fail. Somebody say without fail. What will happen? You will recover all. Touch your neighbor, tell them you will recover all. 
everything the devil has stolen now we are saying unto the devil we have given you a notice in 2018 you have to release everything that belongs to us the family is restored in 2018 this generation of the young generation is restored in 2018 number three their houses were destroyed they were burnt down it a spirit spirit of malice and jealousy evil spirit of destruction and i see people here that you had things that were just destroyed the mission of the devil has three things he comes to steal to kill and to destroy he has stolen he has killed and he is destroying their homes were destroyed and so they are wondering what do we do if you have been wondering stop wondering God is going to restore you this year anything that has been destroyed it is going to be restored this year can somebody shout a big amen, amen. can somebody shout a big amen? amen can somebody lift up your hand and say I will pursue and overtake and recover all say again I will pursue overtake and recover all put your hands together celebrate Jesus Anything the devil has destroyed, it doesn't matter whether it was destroyed five years ago or ten years ago, the season has come. I'm saying the season has come. If the devil destroyed your home, your family, your children, your car, your house, whatever it is, your business, your prosperity, now time has come to recover everything the devil has stolen. And number four, they took away their property, the precious things, goods, materials, things that belong to you that have been taken away. Get ready. Get ready in 2018. Come on, come on, tell your neighbor, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Anything that has been stolen from you, because it belongs to you. The Lord is saying, pursue, overtake, recover all. Who? To pursue. I was looking at the word pursue. It means to proceed along. Follow. Or continue with a special course of action. Or a plan to strive for, to seek after. This is what the Lord is saying unto you. Seek after that which belongs to you. You know it is yours. The devil is stolen it from you. And it belongs to you. If somebody stole something from you and you know it is yours without any doubt, what do you do? You pursue it. Even if you go to the police, you pursue it. Even if they have hidden it in Uganda, you go to Uganda and pursue it. Can somebody say, I am pursuing everything that belongs to me this year. Ah, sema siachiri, nitafuatilia, chochote ambacho ni changu, mpaka nikipate mwaka huu. To overtake means, to catch up with and pass by. Wow. To catch up with. This year is the year to catch up. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Have you ever been overtaken? You are driving and somebody just comes. And they overtake you. But there comes a time. Even if you have been overtaken. Now it is your turn to catch up. It is your time to overtake. Come on, somebody say, here I come. Yeah. Somebody say, here I come. Yeah, I come. There are people even in your family who called you a nobody. Who called you useless or useless. Whatever they called you. 
They said you are good for nothing. They looked at you and asema wewe ulikaa kanisani ukakuwa mjinga. Si tumetengeneza mali, tumejenga, tumefanya hii, tumefanya hii. This year get ready. The spirit of overtaking is upon you. Hallelujah. These blessings will follow you and overtake you. Let me tell you, the blessing of God will carry you. And soon they will be looking for you from behind. And they will realize you are not there. And they will look ahead and realize you are quite ahead. Somebody say, I'm going. Somebody say, I'll be the head this year. I will not be the tail. From now, they will not see you back there. They will look at you. You will be all the way ahead. Do you know this year, there are people ulikuwa unaenda kwa kutafuta msaada. This year, they will begin to come looking for you. Because God has blessed you. Because God has promoted you. Because God has raised you. Because this is the season to recover all. Somebody lift your hand and say, that is me. In the name of Jesus. You will catch up. Some people told you you are late. Oh, hata kuolewa. We had a testimony here. Umechelewa. Let me tell you, kwa mungu hakuna kuchelewa. This year you will catch up. Hallelujah. Nafikiria umechelewa hata kupata watoto. Let me tell you, God will perform a miracle. Mungu anaweza kuleta double double. Triple. Anything can happen. Yuna ana kuchekelea, ako na watoto wawiri, ukuta umepata double marambiri, umewapita. Na ukona waine. With God, all things are possible. Receive the anointing of double. Receive the anointing of overtaking. Receive the anointing of catching up. Ooh, the Lord is saying unto you, there are people you have been looking ahead of you, and you wonder, how can I get there? Hata unajikuna kicho, unashanga, how can I get there? From now, stop wondering. You are already there in the spirit. And it's going to be manifested this year in the physical. I release the breakthrough of 2018. Release the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing for ministry in 2018. Receive the anointing for ministry. Every ministry you do, you will prosper in 2018. I release the blessing and the prosperity of 2018 in the name of Jesus. I release holy marriages, holy matrimony, all the young people that are trusting God for marriage. I release the blessing of the Lord, divine connection, the right connection in the name of Jesus. I release the weddings of 2018 in the name of Jesus. I release the favor of 2018 in the name of Jesus. Good health in 2018 in the name of Jesus. Protection and newborn babies in the name of Jesus. Devil, I speak to you now. You cannot steal the babies of our people, the babies of our mothers, the babies of our sisters. You cannot steal them. Tonight in the name of Jesus, I release the babies of 2018. Every baby that God has ordained. Devil, I command you, remove your dirty hands from the children of God. There will be no abortion. There will be no miscarriage in 2018. In the name of Jesus. Reba Koyema Satanaba. Oh God, oh God. I release that holy seed. I release that holy seed. The holy generation. The children that are blessing from the Lord. The fruit of the womb from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. All of them that are waiting on God. To bless them with the children this year. Receive your miracle. Receive your breakthrough. Everything the devil has stolen. Now you shall recover. You shall recover. You shall recover. Pursue, overtake, and recover all. In the name of Jesus. 
I believe today's message is a blessing to you and uh, the greatest victory that you can have, greatest miracle is to give Jesus your life early this year. It doesn't matter whether you are a youth or a teenager or even a, a older, much older, 50 or 60 or 70. Today when you hear the voice of the Lord, do not harden your heart. I did this when I was 17 years old. I have never regretted where I, why I gave my life to him. The Lord has been good to me. If you have never done this, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. Forgive my sin today. Write my name in the book of life. I thank you, Lord, for saving my life. You know what? If you have prayed that prayer for the first time, your name is written in the book of life, you are born again, you are forgiven, there is no condemnation, there is no guilt, sin has been removed, call us, send us a message, the number is right there, and you'll be able, we'll be able to talk with you and pray with you, encourage you, send you messages so that you can stand and walk by faith. If you are nearby Thicker Road, opposite Garden City Mall, come to OFC Overcoming Faith Church, the faith that overcomes the world. We will teach you the word, we will walk with you, and your life will be changed and transformed through the power of the message of the gospel. The Lord bless you, and uh, I want to thank all of you that have supported our mission uh, to support the weak and the needy. For the last 17 years, we have been helping children through Happy Life Children's Home and we have seen hundreds of children rescued and hundreds of them adopted and so many others that we are helping we cannot do it alone some of you who are wondering where we are we are located along the road at Roisambu, uh, lumumba drive you know just opposite park university if you want to come and visit volunteer young people don't just sit in the house on saturday and sunday come and volunteer come and take you know care of these beautiful beautiful babies that, that we have been caring for and maybe some of you who are afar off and you'd want to connect with the happy life children's home and we have another campus in juja farm where we have the school there you can call this number 0714-593926 again if you want to connect with the happy life children's home and uh, you know or you look for directions or you're thinking of, ad of adoption please call this number 0714-593926 and some of you who would want to send a donation of any amount we very much appreciate it's not easy feeding 150 children every day taking care of their medical bills and all that we need to do uh, would appreciate any amount of help. Be generous this year and support these wonderful children. The Bible says, He who gives to the poor lends to God. So when you're giving to these wonderful children, God is their father. You are lending to him and the Lord will bless you. And uh, the number, or the people number that you can actually send your support to Happy Life Children's Home is 8809-06. 880906. I repeat again, 880906. The Happy Life, although the account is Happy Life. So, any amount will be appreciated. The Lord bless you. Have a great year. Let's work together. Let's partner together. And this year, we have the victory. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all my listeners and viewers, no matter what they are going through. I pray for a miracle right now. Them that are discouraged, them that are in pain, them that are wondering how the year is going to be. Probably the year has started even not very good. There are challenges, there are sicknesses, accidents and incidences, financial challenges. I pray God will make a way for you. I pray for healing upon your body right now in the name of Jesus. Arise from that bed, be healed in the name of Jesus even on that uh, hospital bed. I pray right now that you be healed. The Lord is setting you free right now. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that sickness. Be set free. Your family is free. God will make a way for you. Your business will stand this year. 
the Lord will make a way for you in Jesus' name. For those in college, in school, the Lord will prosper you this year. The Lord will make a way for you. You will be the head and not the tail, according to the word of God. Even in your school, in your college, the Lord will cover you in Jesus' name. Until we see you again, Shalom, peace of God. Thank you.